This is the first time that we have seen the genome release of one single human adenovirus. This work is a collaboration between the Universidad Autónoma de Madrid, the Spanish Research Council, University of Zurich, and the George August University, Göttingen in Germany, where we use a combination between two techniques, the atomic force microscopy and the fluorescence microscopy. This is a model of adenovirus, so when we break the virus, it opens and the genome goes out. So it's exposed. As we can work in liquids with AFM, we can add the fluorophore to the sample, and with the tip of the FM, we localize one single particle, one virus, and we can break it. And from the other side, we can collect the fluorescence emitted by the genome. When the virus breaks, the DNA is released and the, this fluorophore binds to the DNA and it starts to meet light. We can see how fast and how far the genome is released. Thanks to this method, Researchers will be able to monitor the genome release of other viruses and also the release of new cargoes of nanocontainers. The better we understand how viruses work, the better we will be able to fight against them and also to modify them so that they can be used as therapeutic tools. This is the case, for example, of the virus we study in this paper, human adenovirus. This virus can give you a mild cold but it can also be modified so that it kills only one particular kind of cell, for example, cancer cells. This research can help us understand how other kinds of nanocontainers work. A nanocontainer is a small object in the nanoscale where we can pack different drugs and deliver them to cells for therapeutic purposes.